Ah, hello. Good to see you. I can see you all lined up looking at me. Hello. He's still obsessed with the idea that uh, you can see him, but he can't see you. Get over it, for goodness sake. Alright, today I'm going to talk about three different sorts of handwriting. Handwriting that you would just do for yourself, which is quite informal, and you, you're the only person that's going to read it. The second one is similar handwriting that other people have got to read, so you've got to be a bit more careful. And finally, uh, an, an attractive handwriting, which probably would use a dif different pen, uh, a nicer pen to use for uh, envelopes, cards and so on. Okay, right, shall we get cracking? Right, number one. This is going to be <clears throat> handwriting for yourself. Whatever you do, don't have a pencil that's too short. This is just about long enough. So I'll just grab this and I'm going to use it to write something down. So I'm doing a shopping list. I'm going to put bread, butter. Um, coffee and so on. I suppose so long as you can read it that's fine. Um, so it, useful to imagine that it might be on for somebody else to read because you might say oh can you see what's on the list. So this is as rough as it gets. Uh, it starts to disintegrate here but by and large the principle of handwriting is the same. Hold the pen pencil like this and keep the movement in your hand from your wrist and your fingers so the two work together don't brunch your fingers up and just do your fingers and that way you should have a reasonable rhythm practice this you see where you go and then you can go quite nice and easily but concentrate on getting the letters the correct shape so don't let that fall apart too much, as I've done here. But if it's only you reading it, who cares? Number two. This is handwriting for someone else. Let me write that as a note. <clears throat> so. I suppose... You'd write this fairly quickly. You're not going to spend ages and you'll grab any old pen or pencil you can find. Here again, I'm using an HB pencil, holding it the way that I've said. And, um, but just concentrate on making sure that all the letters are legible. And again, you've got to get them looking good. I think sometimes the, the rhythm at which you produce it, handwriting, you see, I sort of pause at the top of each one. There. And it helps a huge amount to do that. So that's handwriting with somebody else. And you'll do a list, a note or whatever. Like, uh, what should we do then? Your dinner is in the dog where are you access question mark right number three I love these pens by the way these are parallel pens pilot parallel pens put a link down below this one's uh, six millimeters wide love it right this is a little bit more formal where you want to be a bit more attractive with the writing. So I'm going to use um, a 0.8 mil pen here. Shall I use a pencil to start with? Not that you'd write on an envelope with a pencil, but here you've just got to be a bit more careful. Notice the rhythm, all the other principles are the same. Hold the pen, pencil 
like this. Some people hold it in different ways, I know. But I suppose it's a matter of combining the wrist and finger action. So if I was to write, um, let's say, an address of somebody, Mary Jones. You see, I'll put a little bit of a, a flourish at the start of that. But just nice and steady. 76. Green Lane. What's going on here, you might say? I'm just saving that to put a nice flourish here, watch. Um, I don't think this address exists. That's A, it's horrible. Nuneaton, I'm, I am in Warwickshire. War. And if you end in an E, you can do that as well. Um, C, V, 10, 3, P. Oh, that was quite nice. It's lined up here nicely. Spacing's nice. It's not too close, not too wide. That works quite well. Let me try once more. Same address. fairly attractive you can just tweak little bits if you have to maybe a comma at the end of those another quick point about exam writing because many people still have to write for exams and that is to write in a similar way but don't crunch your fingers up practice just this easy rhythm and don't go too quickly so if other people can't read it um, but hold it in a pencil like this work from the wrist and with the fingers and you should be okay but it can be a task if you've not practiced and now finally with my best pen this one's an italic nib meaning that the goes thick that way and thin that way and i bought this in a craft fair so i can't tell you where they got it from but it's just a very nice pen it cost about 40 pounds actually um, it's a reasonably wide nib. Let me try this. Mary Jones, here we go. Well, I hope you found that useful. Um, I think nowadays we just shy away from handwriting because we use the digital format so much, emails, texts, WhatsApp, all sorts of things, that we don't actually pick up a pencil. And if we do, we now think, oh, it's frightening. We can't do it, forgotten how to do it. But so it's one to worth carry on with. If only was the book. Oh, look, there's a book called Cursive Handwriting for Adults. And it's by myself. You could go down the long Amazon River in South America and hanging from the trees in the tropical jungle is this book ready for you to buy. And when you open it, it's full of ideas and spaces that you can write in yourself. Even back here, look, there's examples of other people.
writing. So it's not, not just mine. That's a lovely one there. And there's some more here. So you can see different sorts of handwriting. I think it's well worth the buy. The link is below for you to purchase the book. Anyway, until the next time, I will see you or you will see me in the next video. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell if that's what you're going to do. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.